Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good today. Um, going to do something a little bit different for you today than uh, than the normal. Um, I'm going to. I've had a problem with my air pump um, that I used to operate all my air stones inside the greenhouse and the hydroponic system. And uh, if you take a listen at this, and you'll see what's going on. Yeah, that right there. Uh, that's not how that pump's supposed to sound. That pump's supposed to be nice and quiet. And uh, but anyway, we've got a solution for that. And uh, I'm real quick, it's going to be a real quick get video, guys, for me anyway. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the steps of uh, putting a rebuild kit in this pump. And uh, I'm going to take you along with me just in case you have one and ever need to do this. So let's get started. Okay, guys, what we got here is a um, General Hydroponics dual diaphragm air pump kit. And uh, I got this off of Amazon, and there's quite a few places you can get it uh, otherwise. Uh, but this is made especially for this pump. Uh, cost around twenty-five dollars, and uh, the pump's sixty bucks. So you know, um, a little cheaper way to go. That's one thing I liked about this heavy-duty pump. And uh, this pump, as you can see, is a General Hydroponics. It is a Blue Air Stone pump, model number AP 0025 B. And uh, this thing, guys, has really been has really worked really good for me. So, uh, without further ado, let's see what we can do. And uh, all you basically going to need is going to be the Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm doing this on top of my um, <laughs> cracky bed here that I have not planted yet that I'm getting ready to plant. Um, I hope I don't drop any screws in the tank. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, this is a relatively simple procedure. We just take out those four screws. It's very easy to do. And uh, we're just going to carefully lift this off. And as you can see there, there is your diaphragm on the inside right here, which is what this is. Now, all it has is just a, it just has a little retaining nut right here. Hey guys, we just got a little 7 32nd nut driver here. Take that middle nut off. It's got uh, a little bit of Loctite blue on it. And uh, also has a little washer. So you don't want to lose because we want to use that uh, with the new nuts that came with the kit. The new nuts that came with the kit have a uh, plastic insides on them, like a lock nut, which is very good. Don't have to worry about Loctite, even though I've got it, if you don't have it. And as you can see, both of these diaphragms are tore. And that's the reason why she was making so much racket. And you have a brass piece on the back side down in there. So there's your problem. Now we're going to take and uh, blow this out real good. Like so. <laughs> and there's well on the inside there. Now you can see there's a... Uh, there's a little slot on this plastic piece right here that this brass part on this diaphragm fits on. So you want to make sure you align that back with that. All right, so let me get this cleaned up and we'll put the new diaphragm in. Okay, so if you see we're note here, we have the little slot there where this came out of, so we just want to make sure you put that back in the same place. And this also this diaphragm has a bump on the side of it right there. You want to make sure to put that bump in alignment with the groove. And that's automatically going to pretty much align you up with the brass piece right there. So we're just going to ease all that back in. Fits in there nice and good. We'll put our retaining washer back on and one of our new nuts. I 
make sure your cap's good and clean. And we're just going to pop that right back on and put our screws back in. Very simple operation. Anyway, we'll do this other side and uh, then we'll fire it up and see how she sounds after that, guys. Be right back with you. Ah, much better, guys. <laughs> much better, much better. She purring like a kitten now. Oh, yeah. Look at that air boil in there. Okay, guys, let's go about wrap it up. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, the, to those of you, anyway, they, even those of you that don't uh, do hydroponics or anything like that, you know, you may be wanting to one day, and uh, I think that's a good um, that's a good idea for an air pump. It works very good. I mean, this pump's been running nonstop for <clears throat> about four years now, going on four years, uh, 24/7. And uh, if that's all the problem this is going to get, it's been a hard working pump. So, uh, anyway. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. And uh, may God bless you all. We'll see you next time.